Are you saying that multiculturalism is juvenile? Well, yes, in fact, multiculturalism is juvenile. Multiculturalism requires a kind of non-judgmentalism to uh, be perpetuated. If you are going to honestly say with a straight face that a, a civilization that has spread liberty and freedom of conscience and prosperity is of no greater value than civilizations that have not or have actually shrunk such freedoms or repressed them, you, you, are, you are somehow repressing your own faculty of logic. And this repression of the faculties of logic suddenly struck me as perhaps one of the most infantilizing things one could do to oneself. That loss of judgment that I think children are taught right from the beginning when they're exposed to um, uh, undeveloped cultures that have, um, you know, things that children find disgusting. I mean, I saw this in my own kids. They'd come home with tales of, of either um, uh, American Indians or African tribes, some custom or food stuff that they would find disgusting. And they would always tell me, the children said, ooh, that's gross. And the teacher would say, don't say that, that's their culture. So the kids learn to repress their, what their learned judgments. As you grow up doing that, all of a sudden you find yourself unable to condemn uh, 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 female genital mutilation because that's their culture, or even suicide bombing. That's coming out of their culture. It's their only way. So you find yourself constantly denying your identity, yourself, your set of um, values slash virtues, uh, I think virtues is a better word, mm -hmm. um, but you know, your, what you have been taught, even despite the multicultural establishment, to take to your, apprehension, to, to your um, assessment of the world. So multiculturalism in many ways is a very infantilizing development.